Hi, this is Ron Martinson of ronmartblog.com and I'm here today to talk to you about Picture Collage Maker. So what this app does is it allows you to create cool collages. Um, here's some examples from their website. Um, and this is actually some add-on templates that don't come with the product that you can download. So you can do calendars, um, you know, cool birthday scrapbook kind of pages, you know, anniversary, baby, wedding, Easter, Mother's Day, Father's Day, a lot of really good um, templates that they include, um, you know, sports add-on packs, a lot of stuff that's actually useful for photographers who make a business out of uh, selling photos uh, and uh, doing nice, you know, custom pages um, with the things, you know, studio photographers, uh, kids sports photographers, wedding photographers, and so on. So there's a lot of cool templates here. And I'm going to show you just some basic things about this app. So generally what you want to do is you want to start with the collage wizard. And uh, I'm using two screens that popped over onto the other screen there, so my apologies for that. And what you do is you start by adding the f uh, folder or photos that you want to use. And I'm going to Go to my collage demo and say let's just take some family photos. And then choose your template that you want to use. And let's just choose a collage, like a photo wall here. There's lots of different choices. Um, some more complicated are complex than others, and there's some uh, timely holiday uh, choices that you could use and so uh, lots of good stuff but I'm gonna just do basic collage just to so show you some how some basic stuff works so once I do that um, I can say you know, shuffle the photos around and then like how the default was kind of keep moving them around um, and I can just end now um, but I'm, what I want to do is actually go edit it. So let's just go ahead and tell it to uh, finish. And then let's bring this over here. Now I'm using the Windows version. This comes on Windows and Mac. And um, so now I have some uh, collage images that, you know, if you ever use any kind of collage image or collage app or uh, book editing app, you know how they never do what you want from the start. So you can go in and tweak things here. And so they have this little grab handle that I can use to go tweak things. I have this little rotate thing if I want to rotate uh, the collage. If I double click on it, I can go choose a different photo. Um, let's say, you know, I just want to keep this to uh, family photos. So I'm going to swap it with this one here. And then I want to put um, that portrait shot here. And so there's, there's different ways that I can do it. Um, and it could say, hey, you know, I like this photo. It just didn't frame it exactly the way I wanted. Um, if I wanted to come in and crop, I can say crop photo and choose, you know, where things get li uh, laid out and adjust uh, how it fits within the frame. So overall, the stuff works pretty nicely. Um, you know, you do sometimes need to spend a little time thinking about, like, what's the right photo, um, you know, for the... Um, what you're trying to accomplish and then oops you can change various um, you know, properties and, uh, of these so I could say alright well let's um, add a uh, drop shadow or um, if I wanted to add some color to my frame or any of the um, basic options they have available here um, you can go in and um, you know, resize, do whatever you really want. Uh, you can say, all right, let's rotate this guy. Let's make it a little larger. Let's make the height um, 60. And then I can go move things around. So let's say, hey, I want to add that one in there. And so all, all in all, I was... Uh, pretty happy with the basics and let's say you know you decided hey this is this is 
okay, but I really would just, I'd rather use a different kind of um, template. You can come over here, choose whatever kind of template you want. Let's just say I'll do the um, family tree, say yes. And then I go and grab the images that I want to put in here. And so, let's say, all right, let's get some photos. I can then just double click and choose the photos that I want. And then um, you can come in here, you know, add more images, text, you know, really whatever you want to do. Um, just trying to provide like a quick overview of, of everything that you have available here. Um, and you, know, you can align, just like multiple images and align them and uh, remove images and so on. So kind of basic stuff. Um, I come over here, have a little window to go grab more photos. So if I said, uh, uh, models, I can quickly see you know, photo, uh, photos here. Um, I can create masks. So let me show you how this works. Let's actually go, go back and grab a different template. Go back to this one again. Okay, so let's go and change this from portrait to landscape. So I'm going to collage panel setting, landscape, and then let's go get some photos. So what you do is you have these various math styles. And so if I take one of them, let's just take this circle and drop it on here. We'll create a circle. So I can take my rough edges. I want to undo. Just click undo. And so really nice um, mask support. Um, down here to frame and we can create some complex frames so let's just do that now we got a little star um, and we've got kind of traditional frames holiday frames And so down here we have some additional clip art that we could throw on the page. And we can create shapes and so on. So lots of cool stuff we can do. Um, let's go ahead and start a new. And we can create a template from scratch. Um, and generally the way I like to do that is with a grid. So I'm going to say, okay, let's add all these photos. Um, oops. And then um, say how big we want the grid to be. I'm going to tell it to auto calculate based on the number of images that I've given it. And then I can check, uh, do margins and so on. And so let's say next. And what it's done is quickly built one for me based on the images that I've given it. And now I just need to go make some corrections to the images that it guessed wrong on or just need a little bit of adjustments. So it's pretty cool. I, um, I've been very satisfied with the, the core features of the app. What I don't like about it is that some of the aligning tools uh, aren't intuitive to me based on how I've used other products. Um, uh, I prefer to export the uh, 
image as a file, so I'll say save Colossus picture and then print within uh, Photoshop um, just because that's my preference. Um, generally that's what I recommend for those who are um, going to try to do um, proper soft proofing or um, doing their own self printing. I definitely recommend export and printing your preferred printing utility. And um, other than that though, it works really fast and seems to be fairly reliable. I didn't have any problems with crashing or uh, anything and I was able to accomplish pretty much everything that I wanted. Um, you know, I'd like to see some auto layout features kind of built in like uh, QImage does. But beyond that, um, it's a really cool product. I highly recommend it and it's cheap and you can download a, a trial version to check it out.